the end of the 90s is the city was still trying to recover from the LA riots. You can see uh, the consequences of like economic segregation and need of jobs. Um, we had a big drug war. So I really do feel like Enterprise was bold and brazen to say that they were going to come into a city that had just been on fire five years earlier and now we were coming to LA to figure out some new solutions, trying to connect with new relationships. We were just beginning to learn what permanent supportive housing looked like and how it could work to address homelessness. Enterprise was one of the leading investors in that early on. What was happening back then, um, we're starting to see a little of that today. We need different solutions this time so we can stop repeating the cycles of poverty that we're seeing in our communities. What brought me to housing period was that I lost my social security check. I was on disability. I was laying on the ground, sleeping on the ground. It was just um, the most awful, awful, awful experience of my life. I went to Alliance. They said, yes, you're the next person on the list. It'll be a couple, three months before we have somebody who can take your case, but you're the next person to get housing. And I just sat there and cried because I never thought it was gonna happen. I've been praying every night and every day that I would have a place that I could bring my family to, that my kids could come and visit me and know that I was okay, they wouldn't have to worry about me. It's so important to have a partner like Enterprise. They are completely invested not only in our growth and long-term health as an organization, but in their hearts, they're also invested in the, in the growth and long-term health of every resident who lives in our property. One of Enterprise's core competencies, which is financing and producing affordable housing, is so fundamental to the success of everything else, you know, whether it's healthcare or education. It's really hard to be successful in those unless you have a home to come to. Home means really a base of family. Without home, you can't create the family. Oh, but I don't want to leave this area because of this, this, you know, I can't buy a house. I can't afford to rent a better place. Uh, that's why I am very happy when I got this apartment. Wow, big difference, really. My favorite part of uh, living here is um, going to the library. There's also a basketball court. You can play in the park. We're, we're a lot more closer to the things we want to do. The great thing about Enterprise Southern California is we have the national team behind us that is full of experts that bring nationwide know-how on policy, capacity building, and capital. And what we do is lift out best practices, put on an LA lens, and replicate uh, so that we can carry those programs to scale and have some deep impact in the regions that we work. Enterprise at the local level has been, the, the name says it itself, it, they're our partner. They're, they become our technical sounding board, our processing sound board, to make sure that we're in touch not only with what's going on at the national level, the state level, but the local level. And because we are partners with them, as we walk into the door together on key issues, there's a sense of strength, there's a sense of unity, and a sense of understanding the key issues so that when we articulate a position, it's well vetted and well received. So my parents immigrated here um, thinking ahead to when they would create a family, which is now my brother and I, to give us better and bigger opportunities that weren't available back in their home country. And being fortunate enough to live here, even though we don't have family members here in the United States, this building has become a family. Even though we've lacked certain resources, we've been helped by many nonprofit organizations. And seeing the impact it's had on my family, on my parents, and on other families, uh, really has pushed me to continue this movement. I want to be a business major and I want to focus on nonprofits. The past 20 years could be measured different ways, but I will say that we've invested 1.2 billion, helped 28,000 people get housed and stay housed. We are going beyond just that one parcel to neighborhood transformation because we understand the importance of not only laying the foundation of having affordable housing, but making sure people are connected to opportunity so that we can have thriving communities, so that people for generations to come have safe, sound, inclusive neighborhoods.